In this video, I am sharing with you a new model which takes screen reading with AI to a whole new next level. If you ever wished a model could look at a screen and just do the right thing, Scale CUA might be a good option. Scale CUA is a visual language agent family built for GUI understanding and grounded actions and that is what we are going to install locally and I will show you couple of examples with real world use cases as how you can use this model for both of these tasks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Scale CUA as I said is a visual language agent. It takes in screenshots or even short clips plus your instruction and returns concrete executable UI steps from a single click to multi-step flows with keyboard input, scrolling and reasoning. Under the hood, it uses a Quen 2.5 VL style architecture and a specialized instruction format so that it could ground text to pixels, it could plan multi-step tasks and then it could also generalize across desktop, web, mobile UIs. So if you're looking for an AI solution uh, to build by your own team for UI automation, software testing, robotics platform automation, RPA, data set bootstrapping for GUI tasks and research on multimodal grounding agents, maybe this could be a good option. So let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. First up, I'm creating a virtual environment with Konda. If you're looking to rent a VM or GPU or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. Next up, I'm going to install all the prerequisites. While it installs that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will find their link in video's description too. And everything is installed as you can see. Next up, let's quickly download the model. I have written a small script which uh, goes to Hugging Face and grab this Open GV Lab Scale CUA model with its tokenizer. So let me go to my terminal and then run. Let me run this app.py script. It is going to download the model for us. And the model is being downloaded. There are 14 shards of it. So let's wait for this to get downloaded. And the model is now downloaded and loaded onto our GPU. So let's try it out. First up, I'm going to test the grounding capabilities of this model. This is the whole script. What we are doing here is we are going to feed it a screenshot of a car rental drive now web page with a centered special offer, as you can see. Um, and also uh, we are going to tell the model, click the red X in the models top right this one the model must ground language to pixels and Im should emit a concrete ui command like clicks xy something like that and so what we are testing here is precise visual grounding which in simple words mean can the model pick the um, this car models x versus other axes on the page coordinate quality after resizing and whether the output confirms to the constrained action space for immediate execution. So this is a screenshot. As you can see, I already have provided it the path of it and I am loading the model and then I am just going to emit it. If you need this code, uh, just become a member. Happy to share this code with you. I have done a lot of modifications in it and a lot of testing has gone into it just to make sure it works properly. So I'm just going to run this from my local system here and I'm just going to say app.py and it is going to give me the response back. Okay, so I'm just going to run this now. It is going to load the model first and then it is going to show us the output. It is loading onto our GPU. And hopefully it will fit onto the GPU. I think we have plenty of it and we are just 
putting 90% of model weights and KV cache onto the GPU and rest we are offloading. There you go. So what this means here is that this is the agent's decision. It has returned a single UI command wrapped in action slash action tags. And this is the command which needs to be done in order to do that click. Also, uh, same numbers mean your image area fell inside the processor's min and max pixel band. So no resizing was applied. Uh, and this is necessary if you are actually doing it in the production environment. That is why I have put it in there. So coordinates are pixels from top left of your screen like x to the right and y down so the model thinks the red model x sits around around you know this value of 679 and 480 okay so now that we know let's try out another example here okay now in the second example i am going to use this image what we are going to do here we are going to again load the model we are going to feed this screenshot which is uh, primarily an ubuntu plus chrome password setting and we are also going to give it a task where it is going to parse and print three sections and then it is going to extract actions like clicks x y and then we will go from there and the task is uh, to look at our screenshot and produce the next ui step to progress the task that is the whole thing so primarily it's a multi-step reasoning let's see if model is able to uh, predict that let me take you back to the screen and we are going to run this while it runs let's also check the vram consumption with the help of our nv top command i'm going to run it and you will see that it is going to jump up a little bit so it is consuming close to 60 63 gig of vram as you can see and now it is doing the inference so it just jumps a bit but i'm sure that it is going to just stay around here i haven't seen it going up okay so the answer is here let's go back you see it has turned to zero and there you go so if you look at the output of the model the model has reasoned that it's a chrome password manager page it has identified a three dot overflow button beside the list if you just go back to this screen and then uh, decided the correct next move is to open that menu it also expressed this in three parts uh, you know there is a think one and then there is uh, which explains of the which is explanation of the scene and then an intent which is an operation summary like click the three dots menu and a concrete action command with pixel coordinates uh, and then it has passed all these three sections and rescaled the coordinates back to the original image resolution um, which means no resizing was needed. So we have now an executable click location which we can hand to a UI driver and then it will go from there. So you can build a whole robotics plat platform with the help of this. So these are the two things which you can do which opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing and becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.